Welcome to this next episode of YouTube where we're preparing for the Working for Wolves program. And if you're not familiar with that program, we do offer it in the spring and in the fall. And this is where we try to improve the lives of the captive wolves. And that means, uh, in this case, it would be straw removal to avoid a lot of areas that might create some burrs as these the straw turns into weeds and weeds turns into and debris that might get into the wolf's coats. Uh, cleaning the pond, making sure that that's up and running and functioning and everything looks good. Making sure the den has all straw out of it and we've got a good supply of dirt for the summer cooling. Uh, it may also mean repairing things, that type of thing. But as you can see here, uh, the wolves are not that calm this time of the year. That's probably the best way to describe it. Uh, what essentially happened in this clip is Luna was actually getting a little bit of grief from Denali, and Aiden came over and put an end to it and put Denali down and then uh, kind of watched for a while and then, then proceeded to allow Luna to jaw spar and wrestle and kind of pin Denali to the ground. Luna's been doing a lot of that. Um, she is very dominant. She's very active. And what that means is that we have a real difficult time locking them into a holding area for three or four hours for us to be able to get our work done. So it's always a challenge. It requires a lot of wolf care staff to come and help monitor and to help distract because these are active wolves and confining them into small quarters while we're getting the exhibit ready is not an easy task. So that's the Working for Wolves program. Like I say, a lot of this straw uh, will be, some of it will be uh, will be used as mulch in the, in the upper part of the enclosure along the adjacent fence lines to be help regenerate some soil and um, to kind of buy and some things. Luna obviously is doing well here. We are seeing her extremely dominant, extremely active these days. Um, we've been watching that back leg and she's hopping quite a bit. She's moving it. You can see where there in that short clip she's favoring a little bit. But uh, she's an active, active pup. And so, oops, sorry, yearling. And so we're you know, I'm meeting with the vet care team to really talk about our options. You know, again, she's got that small plate in her leg from when she was about four weeks old. And we want to, uh, again, make sure we make the right decision for her as far as how we manage her. At this point, um, we are managing a wolf who is active, who is engaging, who is physically mobile. She has no issues. And as a matter of fact, she's getting a little bit more dominant over bolts than bolts would probably prefer. So... That's something for us to keep in mind, and we'll always keep you posted on when we make major decisions about individuals, but she's hanging in there and doing good. You also may notice that Denali is still acting like a pup. Uh, we thought that he would have maybe matured a little bit by now, but he is still maintaining the same kind of relationship that Grizzer had with Denali at this same age, uh, and that didn't work out so well when um, Denali matured and was a little aggressive with Grizzer because he didn't show him any boundaries. And so we want to make sure we keep an eye on that. Over in Grizzer's world, he's a little subdued. But when we get a day that's 65 or 70, he gets a little bit warm. Here he is kind of greeting the camera operator and just kind of keeping it slow. We're still waiting for the ice to go out or a thaw from the underground water drain. So he's got a lot of melt water in the pond. And as soon as that happens, we will get that cleaned up and probably be, hopefully be one of the working for wolves opportunities. We'll be able to get those ponds up and running. Uh, we did post something on Facebook today, actually. we uh, When I came in for wolf care this morning, I noticed that Chetto's uh, foot looked a little bit abnormal. He was kind of holding uh, his front left leg a little bit. Um, as he walked, I saw that there was a little bit of a limp. Uh, it was not there on Wednesday, and that's when I fed this chicken. Um, I did notice that Shadow was guarding quite a bit and uh, feeding on the chicken and kind of keeping Malief off. So this could very well be an agitated leg from some kind of an altercation between he and Malik over some chicken, or he could have jumped off the rock wrong. Um, it's hard to say, but we are trying to um, manage that. Uh, we did not... Um, see any real significant indication that there was a bite or any kind of a grab or anything like that. We just see on his front left leg, um, he does have a little bit of joint swelling there and you can see the foot is, is a little more kind of held in than the other foot. It's not as spread out, which is characteristic of pain. So he's a little shy about me working on it and so I'm going to keep keep kind of trying to keep uh, investigating that and, and checking it out. He's uh, had one day of anti-inflammatory and he's already moving around much better so we'll keep an eye on that typical anti-inflammatories we give them for seven days or something like this and we'll keep an eye on that and make sure that it doesn't agitate itself but again you'll see here he scrapes like he normally would with a straw but he's a little bit hesitant and that is a front leg left leg injury so 
Anyways, I'll leave you with a little bit of howling as we leave the exhibit. And we, again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.